an idea includes ideas, theories, and all available systematic explanations and observations about natural and physical world. Science is an intellectual activity. It encompasses a systematic and practical study of the natural and physical world. This process of study involves systematic observation and experimentation. Science as a body of knowledge means a subject or discipline, a field of study, body of knowledge that deals with the process of learning about the natural and physical world, and it refers to as school science. Science as a personal and social activity explains that science is both knowledge and activities done by human beings to develop better understanding of the world around them. So it's done! It's so simple, right? Now you know the definition of science, and the next will be the scientific revolution. Revolution is a period of enlightenment when the developments in the fields of mathematics, physics, biology, astronomy, and chemistry transform the views of society about nature. Scientific revolution significantly improved the conduct of investigations, experiments, and observations also led to creation of new research fields in science and transformed the natural world and world of ideas. Wow! So that is scientific revolution. But what exactly happened during the scientific revolution? Some intellectuals and their revolutionary ideas. To further understand what exactly happened during the scientific revolution, it is important to examine the different individuals whose ideas have shaken and contested the dominant theories and ideas during this period. Scientists in all periods of time are driven by their curiosity, critical thinking, and creativity to explore the physical and natural world. Their love for science is driven by their deep passion to know and passion to discover. That leads to science ideas, science discoveries, and technology.
1473 to 1543 was a Renaissance polymath responsible for what some have called the Copernican Revolution. He was also known as the father of the modern astronomy and one of the most important contributions of Copernicus was the field of astronomy. Darwin or Charles Robert Darwin was a British naturalist and biologist known for his theory of evolution and his understanding of the process of natural selection. In 1831, he embarked on a five-year voyage around the world on the HMS Beagle, during which time his studies of various plants and led him to formulate his theories. In 1859, he published his landmark book on the origin of species he also believed that all of life on earth had descended from a common ancestor whose offspring could vary slightly from the previous generation charles darwin's contribution to science the evolutionary biology and philosophy of science is a famous figure in a field of psychology. He also described as a towering literary figure who did his share to raise the consciousness of the civilized world in a psychological manner. scientists and now how is science important in our daily life uh, let's talk about how science is important in our daily life well science can be seen all around us from the moment the Sun rises and the moon and stars appear but what is the true meaning of science uh, science is thematic and logical approach to how things in the universe work so the moment we wake up and open our eyes, science is already at work. Well, science is important because it influences most aspects of everyday life, including the food we eat, the clothes we wear, the house we stay in, the transport we use for moving around, the medicine we take when we are sick, the fire we use for cooking, what else? Um, electricity, different materials we use in our daily lives, and last but not least is technology. All of those wouldn't be possible if it weren't for science. Science can greatly affect us because we know that science is involved in our daily lives. Science is the reason for the quick pace of modern life. So we should learn how to use our knowledge, responsibility, and use it to protect and conserve Mother Earth. Science is very important in our life. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you've learned something here in our vlog.